In our studio, we have two main types of cameras, DSLRs and camcorders. Today we're going to cover which ones to use when and why. Both types of camera can produce high quality images, but they have the respective strengths that make them the best for certain situations. First, we're going to cover DSLRs and then we'll move into camcorders. In the studio, we have two different kinds of DSLR. We have the Canon 6D and the Canon 70D that I have right here. They have their minor differences but same general body style, with a photography style back and interchangeable lenses. These interchangeable lenses allow you to have greater artistic control over the image and overall greater quality. However, these cameras are not without their downsides. There are two major drawbacks of using a DSLR. One is their short file recording times. Most cameras can only record 15 to 20 minutes before the audio and video are stopped and then started again. The other main issue is audio. While there's a microphone input, the overall audio quality and recording isn't actually that great. While this video is being shot on a Canon 6D and it looks like I'm talking just straight to the camera, I'm actually wired up to a mic and have an audio recorder box to make sure the audio is high quality. That being said, the DSLR is the staple camera that we use at On The Bluff Studios. They're used in a wide variety of situations such as B-roll, interviews, action shots, and testimonials. The main camcorder that we use in the studio is the Canon XA10. And the main reason we use this is for long recording times. With two SD card slots and a 64 gigabyte hard drive, these things can record forever, for hours on end. One of the major drawbacks though is a lack of interchangeable lenses and not shallow depth of field. As you can see with this comparison, with the DSLR footage on the left and the camcorder footage on the right, the DSLR has a much more shallow depth of field. I took the same shot with the two different camera styles and zoomed into frame KC about the same. As you can see though, with the DSLR on the left, the text on the monitor and the background as a whole are more blurred out, separating him from the background. On the right though, with the camcorder footage, the background is much more in focus and less blurred out. This makes the camcorder great for macro style shots, but less viable for more artistic shots. The other major strength of the Canon XA10 is its inbuilt audio attachment. Instead of using an external audio recorder, like when you're using a DSLR, you can plug your audio directly into the camera, allowing you to not have to sync your audio later in post-production. Our studio mainly uses the Canon XA10 for long, larger scope video shoots, especially interviews and classroom recording. When deciding on which camera to bring on a shoot, I usually think about how long each individual clip will be. If I'm going to be shooting multiple clips that are only a couple of minutes in length, I'll take a DSLR. However, if I think each clip is going to be longer, around 20 minutes or more, I'll take a camcorder to ensure that recording times aren't an issue. This is a great way to make your selection and ensure that you have the right camera every time.